In this video, we're going to take a look at how from a computer that is running Microsoft Windows, we can reinstall the firmware on an Apple HomePod. As we will be wiping all data from our Apple HomePod, and then downloading and reinstalling the latest version of its system software, typically we would perform this procedure if our HomePod was not responding to a restart, we wanted to reset our HomePod back to its factory defaults, we needed to send our HomePod away for servicing, or if we intend to sell, give away, or decommission our Apple HomePod. First, we need to connect our HomePod to our computer. However, the USB Type-C port on this computer is not able to provide enough electricity to power our Apple HomePod. So, in order to power up our HomePod, we're going to use a USB adapter, and then plug our HomePod into one of the USB 3 ports on our computer. We now need to wait until the indicator light on the top of our HomePod displays a flashing orange light. Next, we should hear Windows chime to signify that we've mounted our HomePod. We now need to open Apple iTunes. When iTunes opens, after a short delay, we're presented with the serial number and software version that our HomePod is using. If we select Restore HomePod, we're prompted to confirm that we wish to factory reset our HomePod, as it will delete all media and data from the device. When we select Restore and Update, we are informed as to which version of the firmware we will be downloading and then installing onto our Apple HomePod. By selecting Next, we're presented with a user agreement. By selecting Agree, we begin to download the HomePod firmware to our computer. We now need to wait until our computer has downloaded and extracted the firmware for our Apple HomePod. So this process will be dependent on the speed of your internet connection. Once our computer has verified the firmware, it will proceed to upload it to our HomePod. It is very important that while the firmware is being uploaded, that you do not remove the HomePod from your computer. Once the firmware has been reinstalled onto our HomePod, we're notified that we can disconnect our HomePod from our computer. Finally, if you do not plan to reset up your HomePod, it might be useful to now plug your HomePod into the mains and check that it starts up. However, because we will have performed a factory reset, which will have wiped all settings from our HomePod, we should hear our HomePod announce that it's ready for setup. Mm -hmm. 